Hello, and welcome to the Stadium of Light, my all-time favorite stadium name, uh, despite the fact that it's in Sunderland. No, apologies to all the Sunderland fans out there. Uh, but it is exciting for Wimbledon to be playing in such a big stadium in front of such a huge crowd. Sunderland, a huge club uh, in real life, relegated all the way down to League One this season, where they are playing great uh, because they have a $35 million parachute payment from the Premier League uh, because they were there two seasons ago. So uh, congratulations to them on likely moving up the table. As you can see, we're in third, speaking of moving up the table, behind only Burnley and Huddersfield. We really need to be in one of those top two spots by the end of the season. But we've been on an insane run since signing John Green and John Green to new long-term contracts uh, after I bought 25% of AFC Wimbledon for $40 million. It was the deal of a lifetime. Uh, so... This is a special episode. I'm not going to be solving problems today. It's this special Project for Awesome episode of uh, the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly's. First of all, I just want to take a second to thank everybody who has been part of uh, this year on Hank Games and um, and and watches the videos and and comments on them, sharing sharing your problems with me, all that stuff. It's been really it's been a really fun year for me. Um, I have I have enjoyed playing video games more this year than I think any year um, of my life since I was like 11 years old. So uh, it's been really fun. And I guess like an update is that, you know, I think looking ahead, I'm going to I'm really interested in and I want to focus on uh, playing video games in unexpected ways, uh, playing kind of counter to the way that the game expects you to play or behaving in ways that that is different from the set of expectations that are created by um, the game or by the genre of the game or whatever. Uh, mostly that's going to mean playing video games as a pacifist, which is just something I really love and uh, find a lot of joy in. It's got to be, and it is. It's, is, it, is it Will Grigg? Did Will Grigg just score? Did Will Grigg just score a goal? Is Will Grigg becoming the surprise superstar of the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombleys? Could it be? What? That's a big celebration, Will. Take it down a notch, son. Just, uh, act like you've been there before. Nope, it wasn't. It was Frankenstein. <laughs> God, Will Grigg. You're so bad. You're so bad. It's, I mean, anyway, credit to Frankenstein. The guy keeps getting himself in the goals, despite the fact that he has, he has a far lower skill level um, and less finishing and less speed than Will Grigg. Uh, he keeps finding his way into the goals, and as you can see now, he's rampaging, and he's going to get a cross in. Oh, that's a beautiful, beautiful pass! Oh, but it came to nothing like so much effort in this world. Really wonderful cutback uh, by Frankenstein, though. That's the kind of creativity that we need in our midfield to become a Premier League side, and then eventually a side that wins the Premier League. I mean, uh, wins the Champions League. Both. You know what? Forget it. Both. Right, so... That's kind of an update of like where we want the channel to go and, and what we see as the priorities for the channel, I guess. Um, shoot, Will Grigg! Oh my god. Uh, but two things. First off, right now you can go to projectforawesome.com, at least for the next couple days. If you're watching this right when it comes out, you can go to projectforawesome.com and you can donate to the 2019 Project for Awesome. All the money that you donate, oh crap, will go to charity and they want me to make a substitution. I'm not going to do that because I love Frankenstein. All the money you donate will go to charity. Uh, during the first half of the Project for Awesome, we're raising money for Save the Children and Partners in Health, two organizations that we've worked with a lot over the last uh, 10 years and um, that we're going to be working with much more in the, you know, in, in the near future. And during the second half of the Project for Awesome, you're raising money for charities uh, chosen by, by Nerdfighteria and um, that, that uh, for which people have made... Um, uh, Project for Awesome videos. So you can know that your money will be spent well, and you can donate now. You Among the many perks that you can get is that you can have me solve one of your problems. Uh, I will solve one of your problems on a Hank Games video, and probably a FIFA video, but I don't know, maybe it'll be a different video. Who knows? But I will solve one of your problems. You can get that perk right now at projectforawesome.com slash donate. Uh, also, there's a 48-hour live stream if you're in the market for 
um, for a real low-quality live stream, check out the uh, Project for Awesome live stream. It's always a barrel barrel of monkeys. Oh, God, we're going to give up a second goal. Panic. Panic at the disco. Everything worked out better than expected. All right. Stop trying to get me to substitute off Frank. Mm, that actually makes sense. I, 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 don't know why the, I don't know why Benny Woodburn's so tired. He's 17 years old. He plays a lot of minutes. Maybe that's the issue. But um, we've just we've got to see... We've got to see if Trotter can perform out here on the left. It's, it's, I'll tell you what, it's a promising start for him. It's a lung-busting run followed by what might be the worst cross in the history of FIFA. So yeah, I wanted to let you know that you can donate um, right now uh, to, get, to get that. But there are also lots of other perks uh, that, that, uh, that you can get. And, uh, you know, the biggest perk of all, which is being able to support really important causes around, around the world and uh, know that... Uh, you know, that your money is doing something to hopefully decrease the overall level of suck in the world. So I'm going to, the other thing I wanted to talk about is that I'm going to keep playing FIFA 18. I love this team. I love these Wimbly Womblies. I don't, uh, I don't particularly want a different set of Wimbly Womblies. You know, like I'm very satisfied. I don't know how you guys feel, but like I look at this club and I see 10 players I love and Will Grigg. That's what I see. I see, I see passion. I see heart. I see players who care, and I see Will Grigg. So, that's good. Um, maybe I'm just going to keep Will Grigg around just to be a punching bag. I feel kind of bad about all the flack that I give him, but on the other hand, I mean, I don't know. He just hasn't performed. It'll be interesting to see what the, uh, what the response to him is, is in comments, because I feel like a lot of times, if I'm hard on a player, he becomes like everybody's favorite player, no matter how bad they are. So that is a concern. But uh, surely your favorite player is Ball John Green, who just signed a three-year contract with the Wimbly Womblies. That was a bad pass. That was my fault. We, by the way, I, we've got to focus and win this game. I mean, this is exactly the kind of game that we cannot afford to lose. Oh, my God. Just as I said that. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Everybody take it down a notch. Hodor, great job holding the door on that one. We've got to make some... We've got to make wholesale changes. That's the only... I can't. I don't think I can make wholesale changes because I think I brought on Dean Parrott at halftime. We're gonna bring on. Um, we're gonna take off Will Grigg and we're gonna bring on Ball John Green. I can't. I can't make another substitution, can I? Can I bring off Solanke and bring on the other John Green? Because that's what I really want to do. I really want to have a all John Green front two. Um, is that possible? No, I'm out of substitutions. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel bad for Frankenstein being out there really tired, but. He's tough. He's tough. Hodor is still really upset, and I understand it. Get off the field, Will Grigg. Was that too harsh? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it's just, I mean, it's just a consistent lack of performance, you know? Lack of passion. I just don't feel like he's playing for the shirt. This is not how I feel at all about Will Grigg in re real life. It's just how I feel about my particular FIFA Will Grigg. Maybe I should give him a different name so that it doesn't seem like I'm criticizing an actual person. I don't know. All I know is that I'm not satisfied with the effort on the field right now. And we need to find a way to turn this from a 1-1 draw into a 2-1 victory because that's the kind of result that's going to get us where we need to be into the Premier League, um, fighting for, like, real European domination, wombles on tour, etc. So, yeah, I'm going to keep playing FIFA 18 for, I don't know, for the foreseeable future. Maybe, like, if FIFA 20 is amazing, then I'll play FIFA 20. But maybe there will be no humans by then. Who knows? I mean... I don't love, I feel like we got a 99% chance of being a species in 18 months. I think that's, you know what I mean, Meredith? Like, you know how like everything ends, including the human experiment itself. I think we'll still be around in 2020 though, right? Yeah, yeah, Meredith says yes, question mark. And I, I agree, <laughs> I think things are fine. I don't know. There's always a chance that, like, the economy could collapse and there is no FIFA 20. There, I, I don't know. Listen, I, I thought that I understood the world, and I, 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 it's got to be John Green. Oh, my God. Ball John Green. And it could, could it have been that Will Grigg would have finished that opportunity? It's a stunning, stunning failure from Ball John Green. The truth is we all know that he, he's a finisher. And that's the kind of that's the kind of ball that he finishes. It's jo it's ball John Green again this time. This time he does. This time not offside. Is it offside? Not offside. Not. No, it's not offside. I just I I I did the kiss the ring celebration, and then 
I don't know, for some reason, is it, did I score a goal? Yes, I did. Huzzah. People say I'm not good at this game just because I can't tell when I score. Uh, oh, that's great news. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm going to keep playing this, and then and then we're going to play more uh, video games that aren't that aren't this. That'll be fun, kind of like pacifisty uh, things. If you have suggestions, by the way, for either for games I should play or for like ways that I could play um, existing popular games uh, other than the ways that you know like they are expected to be played, let me know. I really uh, I like I loved playing Fortnite as a pacifist this year with Jacob and Noah Carroll so so much. Um, and I you know that's not to say that I won't won't please please please. Really great save from Hodor, who holds the door on two consecutive occasions. Great double save. Hodor making sure that the Wimbly Womblies, well, no, 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 it's two. I mean, at this point, it's all one-way traffic at the Stadium of Light. It's all Sunderland. They're running downhill. It's, it's darkness. It's difficulty. It's off the post. Wow. Okay. Let's, let's all just take it down a notch. Take a breath, Hodor. Take a breath. I don't know what that pass was all about. What the flippin' heck? Okay. All right. Calm. Okay. Everybody take it down a notch. Hodor. Pass out, not to the middle. Yes. Okay. Calm. Pass back. Yes. Let's do a little switch of play here. Yes. Then you pass to... Boy. I tell you, the Wimbly Womblies... Just falling apart a little bit here in the 85th minute. I mean, cannot hold on to the ball for longer than three seconds and a very bad foul. Um, there's no other word for it there than that was a uh, that was a mistake, no doubt about it. But we've got the ball back and now we're to, to John Green, yes. And then just let John Green run run free, run free, run run wild and free, my son. Get there! Yes, it's three to one. Oh my gosh! Against the run of play, magnificent finish from who is it who is it who is it out there was it Solanke I don't think was it Trots it was Trots guys Liam Trotter with a fantastic goal to make it 3-1 meaning that not one but two of my substitutes have scored in this game I am a genius uh, yeah, so let me know like what you'd like me like, what you'd like to see more of this year. Again, go to projectforawesome.com uh, to check out this year's Project for Awesome. Vote for uh, charities that you want us to support, and you can go to projectforawesome.com/donate to donate. Congratulations, Mr. Manager Renio. Pure class as always. Thanks for watching. Best wishes.